Hi, this is George Cow. There have been three questions that have been rocking my world lately, and I'm going to share these three questions with you in the hopes that they might inspire you to live a more fulfilling and joyful and purposeful life as well. The first question is, if this were my very last year to live, if I had only one year left to live, what topics would I write about? What topics would I teach? What topics would I coach? What topics would I want to live in my life to be an inspiration and example for others? Now, I would recommend that you choose topics that you have quite a bit of experience in because the world needs your experience. Okay, and a uh, crazy little dog there. <laughs> so, what topics would you teach and coach and write and be if this if you had just one year left to live that you, you could bring your experience your valuable experience and skills to the world and this question inspired me to create my my life's curriculum that I'm now teaching over the next 10 months uh, freely for free on social media um, you'll see them posted once a week every Friday basically um, I teach through everything that I've learned about business and marketing from a from a more heart-based perspective okay so that was the first question if I had one year left what would I teach and coach and be and and, and uh, write about right based on my experience the second question is if this were my very last day on earth and none of us know any of us I could be walking out walking and get hit by a car um, any of us could be struck by some kind of, you know, heart, heart, heart attack or a stroke or something, any moment, choke on something. I mean, we don't know. If this were my very last day on earth, what is the spirit with which I would approach my tasks today? And how would I approach the meetings with people today? Now, this is, this is again, the tasks that you had already planned to do, how, it's the question, is the intention, the mindset, and the heart set for how you would approach the work that you had already planned to do today. So for example, I'm going to use a mundane example. If I had to work on my taxes today, right? I know if it was really my last, if I knew it was really my last day, I wouldn't do my taxes, right? But if, or, or, or I would for to be responsible to my family, but, but let, the question isn't that what, what would you do, it's how would you do what you had already planned to do if this were your last day. So I would bring, I would try to bring, <laughs> might I say even a joy to doing taxes instead of the usual uh, how people do taxes might be anxiety or stress or guilt or whatever it may be or frustration. Could we bring a joy and a mindfulness and a gratitude even to doing something like taxes and I believe the answer is yes if we choose to put our mind and heart to it does that make sense and of course the people we meet with today what kind of love will we bring to that meeting if we knew that this was the last time we would meet with them and then the third and final question is one that I ask um, several moments in a day if I can which is if I were caught dead right now, if they found me on the floor, on the ground right now, having died of a stroke or heart attack or something, what is it that I was doing and thinking? Um, is it something that I would be proud of? George died. We found George dead doing his taxes with resentment and frustration. No. We found George that doing his taxes, bringing an odd sense of love and gratitude and mindfulness to doing taxes and raising the entire activity of doing taxes to another level of consciousness. How, what would I want to be caught dead doing and thinking at any moment, at this moment? So three questions, one year, one day, and one moment. I hope this inspires you to live a more fulfilling, joyful, grateful, and purposeful life.
be well.